Wheel of Fortune, or just the Wheel or Fortune, or the full Wheel of Fortune, depending on your tarot deck. Now, most tarot decks are going to show the four fixed zodiac signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo, or the four classical elements of earth, air, fire, and water, sometimes around a wheel. Now, remember grandma, great grandma saying that bad luck always comes in threes, you know, someone passes away in the family and she starts fretting because something else bad is sure to follow. And I believe this is in part because of our negativity bias, that we tend to remember and recall those things. But good luck comes in bursts as well. And it may not be threes, but how many times have you heard, oh, we just got married and we found a great place to live and we have new jobs. You know, these, these tendencies happen in our life. So when the wheel of fortune comes, remember, regardless of whether it's right side up or upside down or how it appears in your reading, there's always change implied. If things aren't going well now, it's going to change. If things are going well now, it's going to change. Take advantage of your opportunities. Let me show you a couple of examples. This card, again, is from uh, Los, Caribos Universo, Los, Caribo, Los Caribo Universal Tarot. It's just a major arcana deck. It's large size, so I enjoy using it for uh, demonstrations and teachings. Now, I am Friday Gladheart. I've been teaching tarot for 40 years. Actually, I've been practicing tarot for 40 years. I've only been teaching since about 1996 when I founded Witch Academy. Uh, let me show you some examples of how this might appear. All right, let me get the Wheel of Fortune here. Oops, there's the world. Oh, let's see. Here we go. Let's use this one to start. Let's say that the person has asked, are they going to get a bonus or a raise that they're looking for? And the Wheel of Fortune comes up. That in and of itself wouldn't necessarily tell me yes for certain. But if I got, let's say, the Page of Pentacles right set up. That's usually news. Pentacles or uh, pages are the messengers of the tarot, of the court. And so a lot of times this will come up when there's a letter, good news. And in this case, with Pentacles, good news about money, particularly with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, that, again, wouldn't be an absolute yes. I would start to lean in that tendencies, but let's say the next card is this. And the Seven of Pentacles, often he's hot and working really hard. He's planted the seed, he's watching it grow, but there's a money tree. And many times, I think my first keyword I ever memorized for this back in 84 was uh, stay the course. So many times I would say if these three came up, yeah, stick with this job, the raise will come through, good deal. Now, if it came up with oh, the Wheel of Fortune, but the Page of Pentacles reversed, I might tell them, hey, let's look at maybe some other opportunities that might be around you. And that's what this is all about. Imagine the Wheel of Fortune as like an intersection. And ahead in your path, you'll have the opportunity to make some changes, some basic changes. Now, when it's right side up, it shows a lot of great opportunities to make some significant positive changes. And it, when it comes up with the Seven of Cups, that is a beware. You have all these different things you want to do. Your heads are in the clouds. If you narrow that down and approach this Wheel of Fortune, you'll have the opportunity to launch one of the things that you've held on to as a dream for a very long time. Now, if I were going to get these two together, many times reversed, this will show that the person has refined what they're interested in, started to uh, kind of narrow down their different goals and dreams. And that with the Wheel of Fortune, again, you're going forward in a perfect combination here. There's a lot of other combinations, though. Let's say you were trying to move and you got the Wheel of Fortune. As a wheel, it often is indicative of movement. It, it'll symbolize and speak to movement, particularly if it's the Chariot card and the Eight of Wands, uh, things that are very dynamic and showing forward action. It could even be talking literally about a car or about moving. But let's say that you needed money from your family in order to make this move. Not only do you need the good luck and opportunity, you need a little help from family. So let's say you get the Ten of Pentacles, uh, maybe the Six of Pentacles, where you have an authority figure passing money out to kids. A lot of times that has come up for me for inheritance. So it depends on what the Wheel of Fortune is, uh, where it is in your layout, and what card combinations are, of course. Now, I don't get paid for any of these videos, as you all know, but I'm using the Vintage Tarot, another low scarab, Scaribo, scarabo, sorry. And I like that they use the classic Tudor Rose on the back because uh, I think a lot of what's said in a tarot reading, particularly in clients, should be sub rosa or under the rose, uh, kept to yourself. I think that we of all people have the responsibility and the privilege to hold on to people's true information and secrets. That should never leave the consult of your tarot reader. Anyway, so that is the Wheel of Fortune. Let me show you 
some art from Kipling West. This is the Halloween Tarot from U.S. Game Systems. It comes in a nice tin. It's really small and portable. And the Wheel of Fortune here, you can still see there's an elephant, a mouse, a cat. There are still critters represented. However, it's not, you know, following the, the standard for Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. But you could see them identifying as earth, air, fire, and water. And the back of this is this lovely uh, Halloween cats uh, with a scaredy mouse. And I do appreciate tarot decks that will not tell you if a card is upright or reversed before you turn the card over. Anyway, that's it for today. Blessed be.